Hey everybody, welcome back. Been a pretty crazy couple weeks there since my last video. So we're a couple days here into the lockdown situation in New York. Figured I'd do an update video for you guys. Show you how we all been doing. Well, since the last video, there's been a lot of changes and stuff going on in the world, but everything's been pretty much <clears throat> the same here. Roxo here, he's been uh, taking it easy for the most part, letting his old man do all the worrying and stuff. So, but uh, but I haven't been too worried because we've got a lot of supplies and stuff on hand. I'm still uh, having good luck with the. Uh, insect closet here so I uh, get plenty of super worms on hand for all my dragons there I got nine bearded dragons I gotta feed so and uh, I got the dubia roaches going Ooh, pretty solid uh, two colonies in here this lower one's got a ton of adults in it there's probably still over 150 adults and then I, uh, and, and thousands of babies in that one. This one's also got quite a big population there. Different size roaches and stuff. So I, uh, had been over the past year trying to get myself more self-sufficient with all the feeder insects and things. So, um, I'm glad that I started when I did because now I, uh, I got plenty of uh, super worms and stuff to get me through and as long as I keep on my cycle here with shifting the adults around that I got then uh, I'm hoping to uh, have plenty of feeders and stuff throughout the summer so doing good in here got a couple new additions to the family now downstairs Ended up getting some baby chicks. Here's where I got everybody set up. Ended up bringing the birdies in here for now. They're in their third week right as of uh, today. So everybody's been doing good. There's ten of them in here. I just for now I set them up in the uh, one of the old enclosures there. So they got a ceramic heat light in, in there on a thermostat. And then I, uh, I just put this aquarium light here inside. Give them a little bit of a light cycle. So these guys are all the Rhode Island Reds. They're all female. There's ten of them. And I also got six other ones that are mixed genders. They've got some roosters and some uh, some pullets in there, some cockerels and whatnot. So and those are the uh, Orpington variety. So they got a good setup here. The food, and the water. And they put up some screen here because my cat's been going after them there. He likes batting at them. Uh, yeah, I've been <clears throat> able to keep him at bay for the most part. So all my uh, other dragons down here are doing good. Here's Rocco. Rocco's been uh, just chilling out. He's got had that window, so he's seen his. Uh, his dad going shopping a lot and stuff the last week and a couple weeks there. So he's been wondering what's going on. But uh, but he's doing good. He's been unaffected in here. As you can see, he's been eating a lot. Got a big fat belly going. So Rocco's been doing pretty good during these past few weeks.
All my baby dragons have been doing really good. All the girls. And Mayday. Mayday's been going through a growth spurt there lately. They've been putting on some size. So Nebula, she's still the biggest girl in here. She's been getting uh, really big. She's well over a pound and stuff. She's probably about 550 grams or so now, I bet. And then going down the line here, we got Lemon. And she's been kind of fired down lately and stuff, but her and Chirp here, they've been... Uh, Real curious about having the chicks in here. So these two have been really curious about the the uh, chickens in here, and they've uh, been on the uh, alert, trying to get out so that they can run over. And Chirp's been sitting in front of there, charging at the glass, trying to uh, this one right here, Chirp, trying to see what's going on in there. So in my Belladonna, she's still uh, the smallest girl I got. She's been eating uh, more more than some of the other lizards in here. She's always got a wicked appetite going. She's like a wicked a pistol. She's always trying to make up for her size by uh, bullying everybody around a little bit. But she's a good girl. Her daddy can get her under control. So all the girls have been doing really good in May Day. He's got some shed coming off there on the top of his head. And uh, around the sides of his face recently shed. So he's still got little bits of shed on his uh, near his eyelids. So I've just been taking a clean napkin and folding that up to try to get that out for him. And then I even got a little bit of uh, medication that I sometimes put on his eyes. A triple antibiotic eye ointment. So Mayday's had the uh, bum eyes ever since birth. And sometimes they get clogged up on him. So despite all these unprecedented uh, circumstances going on in the world right now, all the animals are pretty uh, oblivious and calm and everybody's doing good. So, been getting to spend a little bit more time with everybody. Everything in New York's kind of on the lockdown right now. So that's one uh, positive that's come out of this whole thing. So I've been out here spending a lot of time cooking syrup down. And uh, this is probably going to be about the last week I th I'm thinking here that we're going to get any good sap. So I'm up to about uh, 15 gallons, I think, for the year. I was hoping to get a little bit more and stuff, but it uh, it kind of slowed down there the last few weeks. But this is my setup here. And uh, I got like 12 trees tapped. So 15 gallons of syrup from 12 trees, that's not too bad. Pretty good year. And uh, I'll keep my stuff out for a few more days at least and see what the weather looks like. Hopefully we'll get a couple more cold nights. That's always good for uh, the sap. And here's the other project been working on with my brother. 
the uh, chicken coop so it uh, the power's not on yet in here but we do uh, have all the wires and stuff run just gotta hook it up from the inside but uh, they got this cool little window over here and that shuts down for them so in this little uh, table they can and ramp set up so all the lay boxes are uh, under here they can hop up under and in and we'll have all the hay in there so they'll do all the laying in that and the lay boxes there and then we can come around this side open that up to get the eggs there and then this is a, another little door we got a little ramp chickens can, can come in and out there so I just got to uh, finish cleaning the uh, stuff up from the project and I'm gonna do off some uh, a little chicken run area here for all the birds so I've been keeping myself busy there hope you guys have been doing good and stuff things have been pretty crazy up in New York so hope you guys are taking good care of your animals thinking about uh, getting ready for springtime here be planting the garden soon so I'll keep in touch with you guys hope everybody's doing good see you later